What's up guys? Welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy. I'm, I'm back with another video here. This time I'm going to be breaking down the Mississippi State Bulldogs 2020 football schedule. Mississippi State was a team over the past few seasons that's seen glimpses of greatness. In 2018, they had a pretty good year overall. It was definitely a good year with some big wins. Unfortunately for the Bulldogs, they did not... They had some chances to capitalize in which they were not able to capitalize and that still led to them to having a few losses but they were overall a few plays away maybe that 2008 season from being a two loss team or a three loss team in the SEC they just couldn't capitalize when it counted most but still overall it was a pretty good season for the Bulldogs in 2018 now in 2019 I I probably thought that they were going to take a little bit, a little bit of a step back, but they took a pretty big step back, finishing six and seven overall. It was definitely disappointing for the Bulldogs. They were not expecting uh, to be that bad. I think a lot of people thought they would at least be maybe a seven and five, eight and four team. But overall, they were pretty big. They were a pretty big disappointment, and that led to the firing of head coach jo Joe Moorhead. He has since gone to, I believe, Oregon. It is. I think he's an offensive coordinator there now. Uh, so Joe Moorhead is out. And Mike Leach, one of the best personalities in all of college football, is in. I think this is probably the most intriguing coach hiring in all of college football this past season. Lane Kiffin going to Ole Miss is great, but Mike Leach going to Mississippi State, that's just incredible. So I am very excited about this move. I think he'll definitely help Mississippi State. Mike Leach just coach Washington State, kind of like Mississippi State. They show glimpses of glimpses of greatness. They went 10 and 2 overall, I believe, in the regular season in 2018. In 2019, they took a step back, but overall, Mike Leach still had some some good seasons at Washington State. He's a good head coach who knows what he's doing. I will say the defenses under Mike Leach have not been great. He usually coaches a great offense with a great pass attack. Uh, so we'll see how he incorporates that in Mississippi State. Now, talent-wise, Mississippi State is getting K.J. Costello at quarterback from Stanford. I believe that's where he transfer transferred from, Stanford. And they're also having a pretty good recruiting class. It's ranked 27th in all of the nation. So talent-wise, they should probably improve overall. I think they'll be a pretty good team talent-wise. Uh, but it should be a cool season overall. A lot of change definitely happening for Mississippi State. I'm going to love to see Mike Leach at that program coaching it. It should be great to see. Now, obviously, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen immediately. It's going to take time uh, for him to raise that program to the level of teams like LSU, Alabama, and Auburn, if he ever does. It's, gonna, it's not going to be overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. But still, I think they'll at least be competitive. Now, without further ado, let's get into the schedule breakdown, starting off with New Mexico. That should be an easy game. No trouble there. That's a guaranteed win. At NC State... I've heard people say this could be competitive. I really don't think it was. NC State was one of the worst teams in all of the ACC last year. I expect some of the same. I'll take the uh, Bulldogs here winning pretty easily. Arkansas, going to probably be your easiest in-conference game, so take advantage of it. I, I have the Bulldogs here, of course, but still, they better win this game. 4-2 lane should be easy. An American Athletic team that's really not that great. I'll take the Bulldogs here. 5 Texas A&M. So this is a game where I feel like Texas A&M is definitely the more talented team. Uh, Kellen Mond's returning. They've got a top 10 recruiting class, and Jimbo Fisher's still the head coach. If, I, if it was at Kyle Field, I would definitely say Texas A&M. But it's at Starkville. It's a home game for the Bulldogs. So I think this should be a pretty challenging game, honestly. I think Mississippi State can definitely put up a fight, at least, against Texas A&M. This is definitely not a given uh, for the Aggies. So I think it's a close game. I think being at home definitely helps the Bulldogs. I'm going to take Texas A&M just because talent-wise they are the better team. But I definitely expect Mississippi State to put up a pretty good fight here. Six bye week. You know, right before Alabama, that's great. But again, most likely you're not going to win that game anyway. Mike Leach versus Nick Saban will be great to see. But it's at Brian Denny. And you can't even argue with this. Alabama is clearly more talented and better suited coaching-wise uh, just in every category uh, compared to Mississippi State. So this will be a win for Alabama. 8 LSU, losing a lot of talent, but they still have a top 5 recruiting class. And Ed Orgeron still there. I expect LSU to still be a pretty good football team. They win this one here. 9 Auburn, similar to Texas A&M. Auburn's definitely got the better talent. But I wouldn't be surprised if Mississippi State puts up, 
puts up a pretty good fight. I expect a pretty good fight here. I definitely think they have a chance to win this game because it's at home. That being said, I'm going to favor Auburn in this game just because talent-wise, they clearly are the better team. Uh, but I would not be shocked whatsoever if Mississippi State puts up a good fight. 10 Missouri. So first crossover game here really shouldn't be too much of trouble. I think Missouri is going through a little bit of a change right now. They're getting a new head coach from App State. And talent-wise, they aren't great. They didn't have a great recruiting class. So I think at home, this one shouldn't be too much trouble for the Bulldogs. I'll take Mississippi State here. 11 at Kentucky. So Kentucky lost Lim Bowden, and that definitely hurts. He was a great wide receiver who also played who also played quarterback. That being said, they've got a great quarterback coming in from Auburn. Joey Gatewood is transferring over to the Wildcats. And it's at Kentucky. I think Mississippi, Mississippi State can put up a challenge. That's definitely uh, a, a given. But I'm taking Kentucky in this one in a close one. I, I could see Mississippi State uh, definitely challenging Kentucky, but I feel like Kentucky will win this game. 12 Alabama a and you know, you play Ole Miss in five days. I understand this scenario. You only have five days to rest up, so you might as well have a bye week. Yeah, they're going to win this one. Of course they will. And 13 at Ole Miss, the Egg Bowl, the biggest game of the season. Uh, you know, it doesn't, Alabama, LSU, those are tough games, but nothing compares to the Egg Bowl for Mississippi State. It's anyone's game, no matter how good one team is and how great is it. That's Lane Kiffin versus Mike Leach. That's it. That's that's all we need. Lane Kiffin versus Mike Leach. Two great coaching personalities going out with each other. Everybody's going to love to see this. I'm going to make sure I'm watching this on Thanksgiving. It should be a fun game, a fun atmosphere. I'm going to love this. Uh, that being said, I favor Ole Miss in this one. I think it can go either way anytime. But Ole Miss is at home. Their talent, I feel like, is a little bit... It's similar to what Mississippi, Mississippi State has. It might be on a little bit lower of a level. But overall, I'm going to take Ole Miss. They're at home right now. You know, I, I wouldn't be shocked whatsoever if Mississippi State ends up beating Ole Miss. But I'm going to I'm gonna favor Ole Miss here because they're at home. But this one, like I said, the Egg Bowl could go either way. We saw last year. What an incredible Egg Bowl that was. That was just a, a pure masterpiece. And the way it ended, oh my gosh, that was an incredible ending. Uh, hopefully, we have a great ending uh, like the one last year. Uh, but overall, I'm going to say Ole Miss probably. I would favor Ole Miss. So overall, I've Ole, I've Mississippi State finishing seven and five on the season. That's my record proje projection for them. I think they win all their out of conference games. They have a very easy out of conference schedule: Alabama, Alabama A and M, New Mexico, NC State, Tulane. Those are easy games. So I think you get four wins right off the bat there. Arkansas, that's an easy win. So that's five wins. The worst you could do if you choke up so bad, in my opinion is 5 and 7. Now that's very unrealistic. My overall range for you is 6 and 6 to 8 and 4. I think Missouri is a challenge it definitely could be a challenge for you, but you're at home and you're clearly the better team here. That's definitely a game I would say win. That gets you to at least 6 wins. And then I would say, you know, maybe they I'll throw them a bone here. Maybe they do beat Ole Miss or maybe they actually beat Kentucky on the road or maybe they split one of the Texas A&M and Auburn in Auburn games, and that gets you to 7-5. and five. Uh, So I think overall they'll definitely improve record-wise. They have pretty good talent, and they've got a great head coach coming in. Uh, still going to take time to get on the level of LSU and Alabama. But I'll throw you a bone and say you have six wins that are pretty easy, and you'll get one more that will be tough, whether it's on the road at a decent team or it's at home against a pretty good team. Uh, but overall, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. Leave your predictions for Mississippi State down below. And yeah, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining in.